Join me on P60, the last four problems, numbers three, four, five, and six on P60. Let's go over these. Small juice bottles come in packages of six. Yogurt treats come in packages of 10. Paula wants to have the exact same number of each item. How many bottles of juice and individual yogurt treats will she have all together? How many packages of each will she need? So we have uh, small juice packages of six and we have yogurt treats in packages of ten. So we need to find the uh, least common multiple of these two. So I'm going to count by sixes. Six, twelve. These represents the, uh, the packages. So I buy one package, I have six bottles. I buy two packages, I have twelve. I buy three, I get eighteen. 24, 30, okay, 10, 20, 30, so Apollo wants to have the exact same number of each item, how many bottles of juice and individual yogurt treats will she have all together, well, she'll have 30, uh, and these are the juices, and she'll have 30 of the uh, yogurts, so that's a total. How many bottles of juice and individual will she have all together? She'll have 60 all together. That was my first question. And then the second question, how many packages of each will she need? Well, this is one package, two package, three, four, five packages of juice. Sorry about that. And then this is one, two, three packages of yogurt. All right, let's go on to number four. Allison saves twenty nine twenty six each month. How many months will it take her to save enough money to buy a stereo for $339.12? So this is a division problem. $29.26 per month. She needs to save a total of $339.12. So we need to divide those two numbers. Um, remember, you need to uh, interpret any kind of remainder because uh, she has to have at least that much money. So let's say, um, just for example, it takes her 10 months to get $338. Well, she needs to do a whole nother month of saving, okay? So that the, f the final answer is gonna be a whole number because you're talking about months, okay? So you're interpreting that, that decimal point. So if you get 11 point something, that means 11 months and part of the next month, but she saves it each month. So she actually needs to save for 12 full months if you get 11 point something. So this is really taking um, a real world problem and then transitioning it the answer into a real world type answer. Uh, you're not going to say 11.23 months. You're going to say you have to round that up because we're talking about months. So she would have to save for 12 months, for example. That's not the answer, or at least I don't think it is. It might be. Um, but that is how you interpret the remainder or interpret the decimal point after your whole number. I'll let you go ahead and do that math. Again, if you have any questions, once you get the answer, uh, don't hesitate to raise your hand. Number five, the library is 1.7 miles directly north of the school. So that north would be, uh, if we're looking, thinking about a map, it would be up on the map. Uh, the park is 0 0.6 miles directly south of the school, so they are opposite locations. How far is the library from the park? So the library, let's say we start at zero, would be our origin. It's north 1.75 and the park is south 0 0.6 so you need to find the total distance and if you're finding total that means you need to add those two distances up 
Okay, I'll let you go ahead and do that math. Number six, tours of the art museum are offered every one-third hour starting at 10 a.m. The museum closes at 4 p.m. How many tours are offered each day? <coughs> so every third of an hour, that means every hour, every one hour. Uh, so if we're dealing with thirds, how many thirds do we need to get one whole hour? Well, one third plus one third plus one third, that would be three thirds or one whole hour. So now you need to find out how many hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. How many hours would that be? And then each one of those hours is going to have three thirds in it. So you're going to multiply that. How many hours you have times three because every every one of these hours is going to have three thirds in it. So that's how you're going to get your final answer. Sorry about that. That's how you're going to get your final answer here. You're going to find out how many hours it's open. If it's open at 10 and closes at 4, how many total hours is that? Times 3 because each hour is going to have one third in it. And then that's going to give you your total number of uh, tours that are offered each day. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to raise your hand. Thanks for watching.